Hello grade 10 children. Welcome to our English lesson. This lesson focuses on unit 5 of your grade 10 textbook. This is the first lesson for unit 5. Today we are going to practice writing. Let's learn how to write instructions appropriately. Let's start the lesson. Children, in our day-to-day -day lives, sometimes we have to give instructions to other people. When we have to complete a particular task also, we have to follow a set of instructions. Think of a situation where you have to operate a new machine or some appliance like a camera or a washing machine. The instructions for the users should be given correctly. So it's useful to learn how to write instructions. Let's do that today. Look at this. Here you have a set of instructions. Let's read it together. How to plant a sunflower seed. First, fill the pot with soil to just below the top. Then, add a little water to the soil. Next, carefully put one or two seeds onto the soil. Cover the seeds with a little more soil. Gently spray some more water onto the soil. Children, now pay attention to the highlighted words in each of these instructions. Fill, add, put, cover and spray. These words are called imperative verbs. An imperative verb is an action word that gives a command. We use imperative verbs in sentences in which you tell someone what to do. They come at the beginning of imperative sentences in the present simple form. That means the base form of the verb. Open. We would never say opens or opened when giving instructions. Instead, we say open. Imperative verbs can also be paired with the word don't with the same use of the verb but with a negative sense. So we can say Talk loud when you present your project or don't talk while someone else is presenting. Okay children, now let's see whether you can write instructions making use of this substitution table. Here you have instructions on how to operate a washing machine. Select one part from each column and write the instructions. You can pause the video and do it now. Okay, let's check your sentences. We'll do the first one. You have to start the first instruction with the imperative verb put. Okay, what's the second part? Yes, it should be the clothes. Yes, put the clothes into the washing machine. Let's write the second one now. You have to start with the imperative verb add. Yes. Add washing powder to the washing powder compartment. Let's go to the third one now. Here you have to start the instruction with the imperative verb choose. Okay, choose what? Choose the program to suit the clothes. Now the fourth one. What did you write? Yes. Press the start button to start the washing. What about the last one? It's in the negative form. What is the instruction? Do not open the lid while the machine is working. Hope you could write the instructions correctly. Okay children, let's do an exam type question now. This is the question. Let's read it. Write five instructions you would give your friend to keep his pet dog clean, happy and healthy. Look at the example. Play with the dog every day. Okay, now study the example, pause the video and write five more instructions. 
Don't forget to start your instructions with the imperative verbs. Okay, here are some sentences that we can write. Brush the dog's coat daily. Bathe him regularly. Give him fresh water to drink. Give him good food. Take him out for a walk whenever possible. You can even write sentences with imperative verbs in the negative form like this. Do not keep the dog in a kennel always. Do not give him stale food. Okay, hope you could write sentences. Children, that marks the end of today's lesson. In this lesson, we practiced how to write the instructions. Next time also we'll do a writing lesson. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.